doing that. Oh, wow. Welcome to Silver Age Comic Con, where Professor Presley has decided to come as Jack Rogers, Steve Rogers' great relative, kind of a bit of a pirate. Pirate relative. Why don't we tell them about who you just met here? Oh, I got to meet. Do the walk and talk. Red Brown. So excited. The original Captain America. Here we are in the kingdom of the nerds. Spending lots of time. Katie's gotten all sorts of signatures and met so many comic book characters so far today. She met Red Brown before we was even here. We saw him in the hotel. He happened to be eating in the same place as us. It was quite nice. Probably have him sign my backpack. What? Aircon's in town. Awesome, right? Right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Take the head off. The A is a bead. It's all starting to come together now. Hey, thanks for helping me out with the costume for Comic Con. Hey, thanks a lot for helping me out with the costume for Comic Con. Magnetic. So, see, so I can throw it, right? If you can see, and it's a really strong magnet that goes on there, and you have that. Presley. As you can see, I'm dressed like a pirate. I'm going to be spending most of the afternoon inside there, walking around in the America's talk away about me.
forward one and I completely peruse it. Whatever. Are there any changes that you would make? Cat, there's a Nazi behind you. That was for America, you Nazi piece of shit. The Silver Age of comic books was a period of time between 1956 and 1970, when comic books in America were moving away from the horror genre and focusing on the superhero archetype. This was the Silver Age of comic books. And coming up is the Silver Age Comic-Con in Reno, Nevada, July 8th. Although Captain America is a Golden Age superhero, he was brought back during the Silver Age to be part of the Avengers. Superhero team-ups during the Silver Age were all the rage, such as the Justice League of America. Marvel's answer to the Justice League was to create their own superhero team, the Mighty Avengers. And that would mean bringing Cap back. It was Stan Lee who was responsible for giving Captain America the circular shield and being able to throw it. Captain America's birthday is July 4th, 1920. He turns 98 years old tomorrow. In attendance at the Silver Age Comic Con in the Silver State will be Reb Brown, Captain America from the 1979 version. He has the cool, clear shield. He also makes an appearance in Captain America, the first Avenger. He's in the scene with Stan Lee. When Captain America throws his mighty shield, all those who chose to oppose his shield must yield. And he's led to a fight and a duel is due, and the red and the white and the blue will come through. There's a Nazi behind you. Hello there. I'm Professor Presley. Welcome to my world. We're talking about Captain America. Uh, tomorrow is the 4th of July, Independence Day here in America. And that is also Captain America's birthday. He was born July 4th, 1920. He's 97 years old. Today, tomorrow, he'll be 98. Uh, he was created in 1941 by Jack Kirby and Joe Simon. Captain America's real name is Steve Rogers. His height is 6'2". His weight is 240 pounds. And uh, he was given super serum and became a super soldier. And he has been depicted wonderfully. And this whole, this whole, uh, we're getting ready to go to the Silver Age Comic Con, and that's really exciting. So I've been studying up because I don't know that much about, well, I read a lot of, I've read a lot of comics my whole life, and I guess I, I guess I do know a lot, but, uh, I went back through to try and do a refresher course. And so J July has been shaping up. And we got one fact so far. The fact is, come on around this corner. If you look here, it's our state reptile. Fourth of July, which is Captain America's birthday. And Tommy has been helping me in my pursuit to have a cool shield. That's my shield, made out of trash can lid. Went over to Tommy's and we're going to do Captain America Ninja Warrior. Cap, there's a Nazi behind you. That was for America, you Nazi piece of shit. Let's go party!